representing integers on a number line. In the diagram below, name each arrow and the integer it represents. So in color blue, we have the number line and red color we have shown representation of integers. You need to write down name of each integer and its value. Let's start. The first integer, let's start from A to B. The arrow gives the direction of the integer. If the arrow is towards right, then the integer is positive. So remember that part. So first thing is, if arrow points right, integer is positive. And if the arrow is left, if it points in left direction, in that case, like this, right, then the integer is negative. That is one thing. Second is, how should we name an integer? The name is from starting to end point. The arrow shows from starting from where and ending at which place. For example, a, b, right? So we can write integer a, b as equal to, so it is from a to b, correct? Now from a to b, it is pointing towards right. Therefore, it is positive. Now second part is, what is the value of integer? So the value will be number of divisions, right? So the value is number of divisions on a number line. So here it is from 0 to 4, right? 1, 2, 3 and 1, 4. So this A, B arrow indicates an integer which should be positive 4. I hope you get the point, right? It is important to note that in case of integers, we can move this line anywhere. Its value remains same. The starting point could be 0 or minus 3, but we can... The length of this arrow shows the value and direction gives you positive or negative. Anything pointing right will be positive and left will be negative. So, these two integers are negative. We should actually write them from starting to end point. So, d to c is our integer and we write d to c as the next integer. And since it is pointing left, it has a negative value. And how much? That is, we'll see how many divisions it go. So, 1, 2, 3, right? So, it moves from one point to the other going through three divisions, so it is minus three. Similarly, now you can write down what is f to e. Now from f to e, the integer is negative, so we'll write negative, since it points left, and how much? So we'll see how many divisions. So from f, which is this point, e, which is here, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is minus seven. So minus 7 is the value for the integer f to e, right? So that is how we can show the integers on the number line and read them. So this example helps you to understand how to represent integers on a number line or how to read integers as shown in the graph or the figure. Okay, thank you.